The prefix poly means many, and saccharide, of course, is sugar. So the polysaccharides are large molecules of three or more monosaccharides bonded together. You need to be able to identify the structure and the function of each of these three polysaccharides. The first of the three polysaccharides is starch. If I were to ask you to name a natural starch that we eat, you might say potato. Starch functions as the storage form of glucose in plants, and we can identify it when we see a long chain of monosaccharides bonded together with just a few side chains branching off of it. The second polysaccharide you need to know is called cellulose. Cellulose makes up the cell walls in plants. We cannot digest cellulose because our system is not designed to break the types of bonds found between the monosaccharides that make up cellulose. Notice the bonds between the monosaccharides are shown as alternating to indicate a unique type of bond because we cannot digest cellulose, it goes through our digestive system as fiber. We can identify a diagram of cellulose as a long chain of monosaccharides bonded together with no side chains or branches and with alternating bonds. The third polysaccharide is called glycogen. Glycogen is the storage form of glucose in animals, and we can recognize a diagram of glycogen as a long chain of monosaccharides bonded together with many side branches off of it. This is a good time to clarify some terminology for you. If you see the term polymer, this refers to any large molecule that is made up of many components the term monomer, on the other hand, refers to a single molecule. The monomers are the building blocks of polymers, just like bricks are the building blocks of a brick house. You will have to answer questions that will ask you to identify the monomers or polymers for each of the major food groups we are studying here. In the case of carbohydrates, if I asked you what the building blocks of starch, cellulose, or glycogen are, you could say glucose, or depending on the question, you might also answer monosaccharide. 